Okay, good. All right, it's Policy and Money. Um, we're talking, giving you some more examples of parsing um, athematic verbs according to the to the principles that we we've been looking at. What differentiates them from regular verbs, and the rest of the things are the same. Okay, so we need to learn how to apply that uh, system. So here are some more. Um, these examples we got from are from the third of the three athematic verbs, and the examples we were looking at before. We had didome, the verb to give, and tithemi, the verb to put or place. What we're talking about here is the verb histemi, okay, which actually comes from systemi. So mm -hmm. you want to write that down? It's, it's the initial uh, S, okay, was si, ste, me, where you have reduplication with an I. But in ancient Greek, when a verb when a, when a word began with an initial S followed by a vowel, the S turned into an H. So that's why you have his mm -hmm. There are examples, however, of, of words that begin with an S and a vowel, and that it's been restored for various reasons. Okay, we can account for that. So, uh, you know, another example is the word for pig, which should be sus, but it's hus. Okay, and the Indo-European word for pig when people do hog calling in the Midwest, right? There's a hog calling concept. You know how you call pigs? Oh, yeah. No. Suey, suey, suey. Oh, yeah. yeah it's oh, the whoa. European word for pig oh, with the S. Okay, but anyhow, so... Is it just uh, a U? We, so the, it, yep, and it's just hoose with the circumflex over the U. Okay. Yep, okay. So anyway, his de me is a... There's the form with a reduplication with an I, okay? The H is what's left of the S, okay? Um, and it means something weird, okay? It's the same as the root of the English word stand. You know, in Greek, it, 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 it's a transitive verb. Mm -hmm. It means to make something stand. So in other words, if, if, if this is a surface, um, whoops, <laughs> this is a surface, okay? The verb is to, it means to take a, a something, put something on it, and make it stand up, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, that, that's his statement. Okay, um, we think of standing as just standing there. Mm -hmm. Okay, but that's an intransitive use of the verb. Okay, so this verb has a funny meaning from our point of view, but not from the Greek point of view. All right, so uh, let's look at our first example, which is he stayed. Notice there's a long mark over the iota. Okay, um, what's going on there? Well, again, to apply our rule, we got reduplication with an I, so we know it's an imperfective aspect stem, either a present or an imperfect. Okay. Um, the reason that you have a long mark over it is because you're augmenting the iota, okay? So that already tells us it's an imperfect form. It's the form, so we've got the he with a long mark and the reduplication with an i. We have stay, that's the root, okay? And no ending. So where are we? We're in the third person singular of the imperfect active indicative, okay? Um, if we move on to the next one, we have histos then. Notice it's not histos there, but it's histos there. There's no augment, okay? Um, so we've got our reduplication with an I. Here the stem has become sta instead of stay. We don't have to worry about that. And the ending is the, okay? That's the same ending that we know, second person plural, middle or passive, right? That's why there's a two after this. So this is second person plural, middle or passive, present indicative, right? We know it's not imperfect because there's no augment, all right? What about the one right beneath it, which is the same except except for one thing. There's a circumflex over the root, this, which happens to be stay here, okay? Mm -hmm. What does that tell us? Tell us as it's subjunctive, <laughs> right? It's, a, it's because you have this contraction going on uh, having to do with the thematic vowel and the, the length and form of the thematic vowel there. So this is the second person, middle, middle or passive, present, subjunctive. Okay. Um, the, the next form is histanai. Again, reduplication with an i. The stem is sta. And the nai, that's the active infinitive ending. Okay. So it's present, active, infinitive. All right. For the next form, five, we, we have to add one additional small feature to our list of differences between the athematic verbs and the regular verbs, okay? And here's the difference. For three of the four um, athematic verbs, 
the aorist in the singular has an additional suffix, not an S, A, what mm -hmm. we used to, but a kappa, mm -hmm. okay? Um, if you, let's look at this form and we'll talk about it, okay, for a second. What we've got is E, an augment, we've got a stem fe, okay, that's the stem of the verb tithema, to put or to place. Notice there's no reduplication, okay, so mm -hmm. it has to be aorist. In, in addition, there's a kappa, which marks it as an aorist, if you wish, okay, um, but uh, uh, we can almost ignore it, okay, because we already have the fact that it's an aorist from the form of the stem, okay. And then we have e, the third person singular ending, and a new movable. So this is third person singular, present, uh, aorist, I mean, this third person singular, aorist, active, indicative, okay. Um, the the cap, I think we can understand the kappa if we think about this. What would the perfect of this verb look like in the third person singular? It would be te, te, they, mm. can, okay? And that's probably where the kappa comes from, mm. by opposition to the present, okay? To the to the aorist, right? Te, they, can, as opposed to ethe, can. But not all, all of these athematic verbs have it. For the verb to stand, his name does not have that kappa. But tithe me and dido me do in the in the singular of the aorist. So you just have to expect it and not let it think you not not not, not have it make you think that the verb is perfect because of it. Mm -hmm. The crucial thing being the word duplication to identify the aspect stem. Okay? Alright, the next form is dos thai. Um, what have we got there? An unreduplicated aspect stem, da, okay, from mm -hmm. the verb to give. So it's an aorist form. And then we have sly, we recognize that. That's the middle infinitive ending. So this is present, I mean aorist, middle, <laughs> or passive. No, aorist, middle, aorist and, middle yeah. because the middle and the passive are different in the aorist. Aorist, middle, infinitive. Okay? Da sly. The next form is e, stay, men. Okay, we've got an, uh, an augment, e, a stem, stay and a personal ending, men, okay? Notice we've got say, not reduplicated, so it has to be aorist. We've got the S, so it's an augment. We know that it's an indicative form, and men is the first person plural ending. So what have we got? Aorist, first person plural, <laughs> active. An indicative, yeah, indicative. exactly. All right? What's the third? Number eight, e fen ta. Okay, e fe nta. If you want. Okay, we have an augment, so we know it's a past tense. We have fe, which is an unreduplicated form, so we know it's an aorist. We have nta, which we know is a third person plural middle ending. So this is aorist middle third person plural. It's not hard, is it? Nope. Okay. Have we got some more, Policia, or have we done them all? I was just going to say, you, you'll find yeah. another yeah. version of the first person plural. I'm sure we can talk about that. Yes, there are, in, uh, histeme is the only major verb in Greek that has two aorists, a first aorist and a second aorist. This is the older one. It also has an essay aorist. And they, they, the, the meaning, they're, they're different in meaning. This one means we stood there. This one's intransitive, mm -hmm. okay? And the one with the essay is that takes over the basic meaning of the verb, which is to make something stand, okay? Mm -hmm. So the essay aorist will not cause you any problems. It looks like a regular, like elusa, elusas, elusa, and so forth. Este sa, este sas, este sa. So if you see that, don't get, you know, um, scared. scared. <laughs> <laughs> it's something familiar. So is that all we have, or do we have any more? And that was it. That's it. Yep. Okay, great. Thanks.